Well, hello. In this video, we're going to be talking about microorganisms or microbes. Um, these are all organisms that you can't see. You need a microscope, hence why the micro need a microscope to see. All right, you actually have more microorganisms on your body than you do of your own cells, and microorganisms make up the majority of the planet in terms of when you talk about living things um, because they're so tiny and they're literally everywhere. So like they're in your mouth, they're in your stomach, they're crawling on your skin. You should probably be scratching by this point. We're going to be going over what um, the main groups of microorganisms are. These aren't all of them, but these are the big groups. All right, viruses. We spent a whole unit on viruses, so this is literally just going to be a recap. Um, viruses, remember, are not living. Um, viruses can cause the, the flu, which is influenza. In, that I apparently can't spell right now. Influenza, you hear it? It's fun. Okay. Um, they can't reproduce on their own. Like, viruses, there's a lot of research that are, like, in the middle of it being not living and living um, because they do some things that you're like, yeah, like, you're alive, like, you do eventually reproduce even if it's not on your own. Like, it does contain genetic information, but at the same point, like, it can't replicate on its own. Um, so, it's sort of in the middle. Right now, there's... I think there's more scientists who lean toward not living, but there's still research being done to, to see what that is. Um, viruses also cause like smallpox, chicken pox, all of that stuff. Um, and they can really only be prevented by vaccines. Um, so if you remember, uh, Edward Jenner had issued the cowpox vaccine to prevent uh, smallpox. So if you give your immune system kind of a heads up about what the disease might entail, um, that's what a vaccine is. That's why you have to get the flu shot every year. Um, you're preventing yourself from getting the flu. Okay, viruses. Bacteria. Our lovely bacteria. Okay, bacteria are living. They are cells. Um... They still contain genetic information. Okay, bacteria can be super good um, because, all right, they can help us digest food. They are also on the roots of plants um, and then help us fix nitrogen which basically takes it from the atmosphere and turns it into a form that we can use. Um, bacteria also um, help to make antibiotics, which is kind of funny because antibiotics are used to treat bacteria. Um, remember, antibiotics cannot work on a virus. Viruses don't have cell walls um, or cell membrane or any of that. Antibiotics only work on uh, bacteria. Okay. Bacteria can also be really bad, though, because they can cause disease. So diseases like, um, like staph infections or strep throat, all of that are bacterial infections. So those are some not-so-good things. Ooh. Fungi. Okay. Fungi, they are living. Um, these are mold. That would be an example. Um, actually, fungi was helped to develop the first antibiotic penicillin. Um, it was kind of an accident that this happened, um, but this was one of the, this was the first antibiotic that was ever made, and it was made by basically accidentally dropping mold into a petri dish so good stuff um fungi are decomposers so they're going to use um they're just going to eat anything that's dead normally what happens is they use hyphae 
um, to like dig into the ground. So hyphae is like, okay, we know that a mushroom is a fungi. So they use hyphae to like dig into the soil and then basically like eat anything that's dead or decaying in the soil. Um, so they eat dead or decaying things. Awesome. Okay. Protus. So an amoeba would be an example of a protus. Also algae. Okay, algae is responsible um, for providing a lot of the oxygen that we breathe because they can photosynthesize. Because photosynthesis, which is walk OG, your favorite formula. Okay, so algae is everywhere. Most plants, like the first plants, like they evolved from algae. Um, algae is, like I said, responsible for providing a lot of the oxygen that we have um, in the air to breathe because there's so much of it. It's also sometimes used to like combat climate change because you know like deforestation we're putting a lot of carbon dioxide into the air and there's not as much oxygen because we're cutting down all of those plants. Um, so sometimes they'll like reinfuse environments with algae um, to try to help that balance. It's not enough at this point but it's something to try and help. That is your review on microorganisms, microbes. I hope that helped and have fun on the practice questions.